We made a lot of mistakes over the years towing our little smart car behind the RV. So today I want to share with you the proper way to connect a tow car. If you want to see what not to do, here's the video on all my mistakes. It's definitely worth a good laugh. But for now, here's how to do it right. We always keep our tow bar covered to protect it from the elements. And anytime we're driving, it's very important to have all these cables hidden away. Before I get started, I'm going to put on some gloves because, well, it's kind of a dirty job. I found it's really important to keep the cables from going underneath here. So when I open it up, I don't want my cables down here because when you hit the bottom, it could damage them. So you see, I've attached this Velcro strip here to keep the cables up high, which really helps. Next, I'll connect the tow equipment to the car. Tighten this all the way on. You want to make sure everything's clipped in and tight. And the tow bar kit comes with a couple locks. If we were going to be staying overnight somewhere and I was going to keep the car connected, then I'd probably attach the lock so nobody could take the car. But we're just going to another campground, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to clear my cables away, and then I'm going to have Nikki help me bring the car in. So we've got the car nice and square behind the RV, and we're ready to connect. So we found that you don't want a lot of slack here you actually want the slack to be back here, so when you turn, your cables don't get pinched. And there's plenty of slack. As you can see, the tow bar is fairly level. You don't want it too high or too low, which is why we have this drop-down hitch. We have the dual hitch receiver for our bike rack, which we're not carrying right now, but it makes a great storage spot for the air hose. I have all the tow connections set up right here on my car, so they're very easy to access the air hose for the air brake system, and the electrical for the trailer lights, or the lights in the car. And last but not least, the brake safety cable. If the car were to come disconnected, it would slam on the brakes in the car to keep it from rolling away. And next we're ready to set up the car. So for our smart car, we put it in the tow mode. But it's important to know that every car is different. Now that the car's in tow mode, we'll roll it back to make sure we lock in the tow bars before we go. Ready? All right. Once the tow bar is locked, we can add the brake to the car. So this is called a supplemental braking system. By law, a lot of states require them some people try to skip out and decide not to install them, but for us, it's about safety, and we think it's super important to have one. Because our smart car is so narrow, we use this bungee cord to help keep our wheels in line while we're driving down the road. Cool. One last check of all the wires and cables. Make sure everything's tight. Make sure nothing's loose. We're dragging. I think we're ready to roll. Over the years, I've made a lot of costly towing mistakes. So hopefully seeing it done the right way will save you some dough and keep you safe while you're rolling down the road. See ya.